Hi, I'm Jordan Long. I only got to say that one all the time. Hi, I'm Jordan Long. And today, I'm going to talk about why I don't really prefer eBay that much. Now, a lot of men and women out there like eBay. And a lot of them will say that you can find some good stuff on there. But the one part that I never really understood was the whole auctioning part, the whole bidding part. Now, for those who might be who might be unfamiliar, might not know eBay. eBay is a is bidding, well, it's auctioning or whatever you want to call it. But it's not the same way, you know. They have items there. Men and women bid how much wear guild they have on them. But they're going to buy it. But you can also buy it outright. If there is no auction. For this, this the thing. Now. Some men and women might think. Oh well. Some might say well. Well, on eBay, you have say over the price, and you can decide how you're going to do it. Well, that might be true, but it doesn't make it. That doesn't mean that the stuff on eBay is any more expensive because it is. Probably more if a if a auction starts on it. Now, yeah, I like Amazon. Okay, yes, maybe Amazon has a set price for everything. But, you know, Amazon has a set price for everything, and you might not be able to control, might not have any, any, well, they claim you might not have, have any say over how the things are. But when it's a set price, even if it's a price you can't afford, at least it's some set price. You know, you don't have to be afraid of, well, it's going to go into an auction. And that price is going to become even more unaffordable. You know. But you are always going to have these ones that always will try to find some type of. Hold on. You are going to try to find those who might be like this. And then they'll say something like, oh, well, you know, Jordan. Uh, at least with Amazon, there isn't one. At least with eBay, there isn't one set price. Yeah, true. It starts out with one. True. The price. There is sundrious prices. Yeah, especially if an auction starts to happen. You know. And I always feel that that's kind of sad. You know. That you might not be a, might not be able to get what you want, you know, if it goes into some auction and somebody ends up having more than you do, and they go with the winner. Now I have talked with some men and women, and you can always overrule it and go with someone else if you want to, but let's just say for the sight of this fight, the seller doesn't do that, then you lose out on whatever it was. You know, and eBay isn't really known for its, isn't really known for having a good reputation or not. And it's not name known for that. All right. If you think that, if you think that there are, if you think there are stunners and larkers and hoaxers out there on Amazon that try to do wrong. Well, double that on eBay. You know. So but I always like the idea of being able to get. I always like the went the thought of getting something if I got enough weird guilt on me to get it. You know, and that price not going to change. You know, it's not going to go into some type of auction. Now some might not like that idea but some might not like that belief you know oh i don't like it, the fact that that price didn't stay the same well look here you and first off 
if the price stayed the same, you wouldn't be able to afford it, right? If you didn't have the wear good on, you couldn't afford it. Well, with if it goes to an auction, you're certainly not going to be able to afford it then either. So your way you might lose out. It's the only thing I can say to these men and women. But, you know, I'm not here to say that it's bad or anything. No, I never said that. I'm just saying I don't like it since it's like that. You know, yeah, it is possible to get, you can actually buy things outright from eBay, but eBay's prices are just as Amazon's prices. You know, re, some of them there you can get and some of them you can't. And double, yeah, and if it goes into a auction, you can forget about it. Unless you actually have that amount on you, then the auction wouldn't mean anything either. Um, but I like Amazon over eBay because at least you don't have to be afraid of it. But, you know, at the same time, I'll take it back and say that you might not be able to, you might not be able to afford something on Amazon. That's true. You might not be able to afford things on eBay. That's true as well. Double, and if it goes to an auction, you definitely might not be able to afford it. You know, they both got their good points and their bad points. That is true. You know. But the things that I got from Amazon, from eBay, like Diva Talks and Ernest P. War and Pee Wee Herman and Stephen Urkel and Beetlejuice or Jason Jordan or Bigfoot or Michael Cole or Kurt Angle as the general manager of Rock. Yeah, they all came from eBay, but they were out, outright buys. You know. Yeah, they probably would have been very, they were really expensive, true. They were really expensive, I will admit that there. But they would have been doubly more expensive if it went to an auction. So don't try to say that price is something that, that makes eBay not the same as Amazon. Maybe the price might not be set, you know, but at the same time, auction changes that undoes that price. I'm Jordan Long, and I'll see you later.